Hello, my beautiful Gemini beings. Welcome or welcome back. Depending on what you, you clicked on, we're just going to dive into your next 24 hours. The um, the overall intention is for career um, and money, but if something else comes out, then we're just going to let it come out. Um, I do not, I think this is the first Gemini. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I can't keep up with what I'm doing these days. Um, but happy birthday, Gemini. Okay, my birthday is June 8th. All right, if anybody listen, <laughs> wants to help your girl out, okay? uh because it's been it's been rough it's you know since i've been out of my saturn return it's been rough i don't think i realized like what my saturn return was well for one i didn't even really know what it was when it was happening i didn't learn about saturn return until after but it's like as i'm approaching my mid-30s you guys and i'm just being transparent i feel like the years after my saturn return are very more harsher and eye-opening so those of you guys watching this ring i've been going through it for years years honey like listen it's 24 hours week ahead whatever we got to do gemini but i feel like there's royal treatment being rolled out for you somebody here you're tapping into a new energy source okay eight of staffs so you may have been kind of feeling like things have been moving in the opposite direction or despite the energy you're exerting um I just want to make this clear to me the eight of staffs is a working energy it's your daily routine it's kind of like what you're spending your time and your energy doing like whether somebody you know is hitting you up or you just really just trying to focus on your things I, I kind of feel like i don't know who this reading is for but i feel like this summer is actually like your your rebranded winter um somebody here like i feel like you're at this phase in your life like you're not really trying to be out you're not trying you're not trying to like you're not trying to put your time and energy to anything that's not representing, that's not giving you energy to live. So it's like, if some of you guys look, if you reach that point in your life, you like the energy, the club don't give me energy to live no more. You're not putting your energy there. Um, I feel like somebody here is like your spirit squad. I feel like your spirit squad kind of shows you like what the masses is doing quote unquote like what the outside world is doing so your day-to-day -day activities your daily routine can reflect that around what it is that you're desiring what it is that you're manifesting but like i said i'm not i'm not going to leave this on the table gemini is beautiful energy for something that you need to have moving in your life the eight of staffs eight of wands is still a moving energy but it's a moving energy when we're working the energy so like i was saying some of you guys over this next 24 hours may be called to where there's more energy some of you guys um now this is a general reading and i know this is about career but i'm not going to push it away maybe some of you guys have been going through some type of delays falls loss of control um shielding and protecting you from any violence and theft because it's the world is it's starting to get a little wonky outside um and this is not something far as like you're seeing with your physical eye i feel like someone here you're you're seeing and feeling with your mind's eye that it's like this revolt that's in place so maybe someone here you have this sense of urgency or what's happening over the next 24 hours is this acceleration to your growth your progress your communication um i feel like someone here is fighting to return home or you've been fighting to maybe return or relocate or or anchor your energy in a place that i feel like is going to really just kind of like just <laughs> keep um to be in this wave of good news right i feel like someone here like oh my goodness like that actually happens for people because i feel like the shadowy energy of the eight of staffs is like when you're not receiving waves of good news gemini it could just be waves of like bad news or unfortunate things or just this loss of momentum this real crash and burn energy so i feel like the next 24 hours like the more you're kind of like putting this momentum towards your endeavors towards your daily routine towards something that you're wanting to pop or take flight you're seeing it um take flight and i feel like someone here your life's taking off swiftly like whether whether you're ready or not <laughs> i always felt like gemini placements is kind of like the energy like you're you can get ready you can get ready okay the more maybe someone here is running from a calling um that's kind of like or i feel like someone here you're running from tradition or you're running away from a path that hasn't really been bringing you this energy like i was saying gemini to kind of like rise up and be free maybe someone's being emancipated maybe someone was emancipated i kind of feel like that's someone's story maybe someone here you have gemini in a water house and you've been kind of like collectively kind of feeling what the the world is feeling whether you're tuned or dialed 
in or not. But what I feel like is happening for your next 24 hours with this eight of wands and this uh, more energy coming out is a lot of motivation, a lot of impact, a lot of cash coming in. Maybe some of you guys, you've had cash coming in and going out, maybe going out then coming in. Maybe you feel like, you know, work isn't picking up or like, there's not the I feel like there's this sense of like slow and rapid movement that's been kind of like pulling at somebody here and now it's time for this advancement that's very exciting that's very invigorating that's you going forth with the confidence that you know you have to really just kind of enact on some lesson or maybe teach a lesson maybe someone here oh that didn't sound okay maybe somebody here is teaching somebody a lesson um Oh, <laughs> I want to so kind of the reading kind of took a little turn. All right. Uh, kind of like rebellion energy coming out. Maybe someone's being bullied. Maybe someone here, maybe your ancestors were bullied by these systems, these structures that's in place. Maybe some of you guys are being bullied by other entities or parasites that are scared of your growth, that's scared of your teaching, that's really scared of your message. So I don't know who that's for, but I feel like in terms of your career, like be loyal to yourself invest in yourself invest in ventures that you know it's going to take off for you but then i also feel like someone here you may not see this eight of staffs energy showing up in a way that kind of feels like as of but as above so below like a balanced um like i feel like you're not seeing it in a balanced way gemini because you're maybe you're struggling to balance yourself or maybe you're your environment isn't balancing or it's just me. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of secret things um, unfolding for you. A lot of secret blessings, maybe even secret chamber conversations. Okay. We have mama coin coming out here. Uh, maybe some of you guys are single mothers. Oh, oh no. Oh, how dare we coin the queen of pentacles as a single mother. I, I can see the, the, I can see mama coin and the queen of pentacles being a single mother, um, or being maybe, um, maybe you are married, maybe a woman that's married just, or even if you're not married or a single mother, maybe you just single, a single woman that is very, very, very serious about her security, her future, her growth, right? Making sure that, okay, I have this spiritual consciousness. I have this intuition. I have this protection of self to go forth and really just kind of like create opportunities for myself. So I feel like some of you guys are, maybe you're stuck. Maybe you're being pulled in different directions. Uh, Gemini, what this next 24 hours I feel like is about is putting you back in the right direction, putting you back in the direction that's most energetic for you, um, that's most um, affluent for you, okay? That's more generous for you, where you have more opportunities to cultivate your own oasis, Gemini. I feel like some of you guys here are manifest. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I publicly said some things, okay? Somebody here, I, when I said roll out the roll out the red carpet treatment, like I was like very serious. Like I feel like somebody here, it's it's time for things to just like like bro magically fall into place. But I feel like it's doing that when you have the right energy source to tap into. So this is rejuvenating yourself, you know, maybe taking a more um, passive working approach to your career, your business, like over the next 24 hours, Gemini, as opposed to maybe a more active, you know, kind of just be like, I'm here, but I'm not here. Like I'm working, but I'm not working. I've always admired artists, right? The, the leadership of an artist, right? Because it's like, they're always working even when we're not seeing their creations. So I feel like someone here, you're dealing with a lot of ebbs and flows in life, but I feel like that's because of your legacy. I feel like your legacy is important to you, but I also feel like your legacy does not just extend to yourself. Maybe some of you guys, you if you don't have children, you're responsible for children, or you're just thinking about your actions and how they can impact the community, impact the people around you. Or some of you guys, you just, you know, you just want to show up as a decent human being. I'm not, I'm not mad about that. Maybe somebody here has been a workaholic. Maybe people feel like you're dull, you're boring, that you're not experiencing the joys of life. That's not what Mama Coin's energy is. It's like, I feel like that's what people feel and think about her because she's so committed. She's so determined to building her skills, building her grab, grab, craft to be on a mission 
right? A mission that only she sees. Some of you guys are on missions that only you see. So if you're on a mission that only you see and you're making decisions from other for f making decisions based off what other people say and they don't see that, then that's kind of where this getting off track is coming into play. Or maybe some guys you're being pu you're being pushed to make decisions that make you feel uncomfortable, ten time that that stretch you, that kind of like tune you into this natural rhythm and flow, and then you're like, okay, well I don't think I'm supposed to be going there or if I move here if I do this if I take this step then I'm gonna lose everything but I feel like that's your past self Gemini coming through with kind of like this nah, 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 since they're like are we sure we want to do this when actuality you have to do <laughs> you have to do this somebody you have to you have to. I feel like you draw good fortune, Gemini, from spaces that nourish your spirit, that help you find your center, connect with nature. Maybe some of you guys are in the healing arts. Um, maybe some of you guys, you just need to have a very healing home, a very um, flowing, peaceful home for other responsibilities that you have. So just take this next 24 hours, I feel like, Gemini, to really just kind of like stand in your intelligence, stand in your truth, really stand in this um, mama point energy because I feel like you're you're kind of finding or someone here finding the systems are bending bending in your favor or bending to bending to your benefit so you're able to really kind of see what this more aka like higher for energy is meaning for you so um I mean it could feel like a rebellious energy but I don't really feel like it is because you're someone here you're you're keeping your money safe you're ready maybe to mentor others have success within your work, your career. I feel like you just really want a lot of cohesion and the next 24 hours is really setting you up for that. So um, there's only so much learning you can do. Eventually you have to start implementing and talking and releasing. And I feel like someone here, you're at this point where maybe there's some side hustles or there's some things that you've been kind of putting your energy and time into Gemini that hasn't really turned over um, a beneficial profit and has been causing you problems more than it's been elevating you. So yeah, just it's definitely, it's a lot of new thing someone here you've been taking risks or maybe you um now you're in a risk that's benefiting you okay i'm, I'm done okay so i hope somebody um i said that wrong i hope this helps somebody in some way shape or form you were able to extract something from this reading i'm out of here peace